I'm here to defend what the Constitution advocates, and it advocates that every Kenyan should be protected. The Constitution of Kenya is very clear, and it is the only legal document. It is the apex of the law that whoever goes against it becomes repugnant and inconsistent to the natural laws and justice. Comrades, yes. Yes. you know how life is. To Babu Ueno, today as a comrade, if you tell me that you are sleeping hungry, as Babu Ueno, I know what it is. Today, if you tell me that you lack school fees, I know what it is, and I know how it feels. Today, if you tell me that your parent has no job in this nation, I will understand you, because I've gone through all this, and as a leader in Kenya, as a leader, who has been given a mandate by the Almighty God to serve Kenyans also has an obligation to extend an olive branch to our neighbors. I'm not only a leader in Kenya, but also a leader in the region. A child in Kenya suffers the same fate as a child in Uganda as a child in Congo, as a child in South Africa, and any other place within Africa. And therefore, if there is an autocratic government, if there is a kakistocratic government, if there is a government that does not deliver to its citizens, then it is my role as a leader to correct the excesses of that government. There are those leaders who will be very uncomfortable when you speak truth to them. And we shall proceed because we are within our rights to fight for the children of East Africa. I remember, thank you, comrade. I remember when a cabinet secretary called Jacob Kaimeni, Professor Jacob Kaimeni, wanted to increase university fees. Comrade Carl, we demonstrated the moment he, he, he just said that there will be university fee increment. We threatened that we were going to demonstrate. Then he withdrew his statements that it was not him who said so. Then we further went on and demonstrated after withdrawing. So comrades, what is being implemented now? How can you accept such a thing to happen? Because it is catching up with you, it will catch up with your children, it is going to destroy the education system in this nation, and we know the role of education in, our, in the growth of an economy. Education provides matter skills in our economy. Look at the health sector, we need education. Look at agriculture, we need education. Look at any field, engineering field, journalism, we need education. Therefore, education is the backbone of this nation. If a nation cannot educate its citizens, that education should just be disbanded. That nation should be disbanded.